Hey guys, we are going to look at a thousand dollars standard deck and what that co is composed of. It's Esper Control and it has some of the most expensive cards that have ever existed in standard, including fetch lands like Flooded Strand, Polluted Delta, Sampling Vents, you have your Battle Lands and you have almost a playset of Bloodstained Mirrors. You also have Jace. This Jace isn't the $100 Jace of old, but it's still very expensive. You have your Dragon Lords, your Hanga Backwalkers, and a whole playset of Gideons. So that's kind of pricey. I will have a link to the actual deck in the description below. It's on MTG Goldfish. So shout out to them. $1,001. Wow, for a standard deck. And... You know, you look at the deck and you say, yeah, it is good. Yeah, it looks kind of fun. But how, why would anyone pay $1,000 for a deck that's just going to rotate out sooner than later? Remember, we're in a two-set rotation. So when I look at the deck, I have questions about, I mean, when you look at it, you do have Flood of Strands, you do have Bloodstained Mirrors, and you do have Polluted. And those will have long-term playability so i'm not too worried about those but when you have jace is jace going to be 80 dollars in the future probably not is dragon lord going to be 80 dollars in the future probably not gideon probably not so now we look at the rest of the deck you have just one ugin i'm guessing that you can put more if you want to make this deck a little bit more expensive you have digs and you have kind of a sideboard esque you know, makeup of uncommons and commons, so that's not that pricey. Most of the price is coming from the Gideons, the Jaces, and obviously the 11 Fetch Lands, eight of them being in blue. Dragon Lords is also a pricey card. I don't know, what do you guys feel about? Leave a comment below. Do you feel like a $1,000 standard deck is acceptable? Do you feel like it's not acceptable? Would you ever buy this deck? Would you buy this deck right now? And where do you see the deck being a few weeks from now or, you know, two months when we get over the gate watch, when we get a new meta, hopefully we get a new meta. And then during rotation, which I believe is relatively soon, right? Over the gate watch and then we get four months after that. So, yeah, I mean, a thousand dollars is a lot of money to play a tier one deck. I love this deck. I wish I could play it but i'm not going to pay a thousand dollars for a deck that probably won't exist exactly like this after oath of the gatewatch comes out the meta always changes uh, or normally does i should say it normally does it seems like their rhinos are still populating everywhere but uh that's a different topic altogether